Hi, I'm Andreas Bormann with Bartop GmbH from Jena, Germany. We are a privately held company founded in 2003. Our expertise lies in nonlinear optics semiconductor devices. This video clip features one of our main products, photoconductive terahertz antennas. They are utilized in this terahertz imaging setup. It is all fiber coupled and comes along without large stacks of extra electronics. It operates in transmission mode and the sample is scanned in order to obtain an image. In detail our system consists of a femtosecond fiber laser working at 1550 nanometers that is required for operation of our antennas, a terahertz emitter and detector module, as well as terahertz optics in between them. A scanner formed by two mechanical stages that moves our sample in the terahertz focal plane, another mechanical stage to change the length of the terahertz beam path, and of course a DAC device and a laptop in order to record and process the involved signals. As terahertz emitter and detector we are using fiber coupled photoconductive antennas which are encapsulated in these small footprint mechanical modules. On the rear end an optical fiber and an electrical cable exit the module the front end is formed by a silicon substrate lens. A link to more information on photoconductive antennas and their principle of operation can be found in the description below. The terahertz radiation generated by the photoconductive antenna is coupled into free space with the help of the hyperhemispherical substrate lens. It is first collimated and then focused by a pair of PTFE lenses. The sample is placed in the focal plane Upon transmission through that sample, the T-rays are collected and focused onto the detector antenna by another pair of plastic lenses and the silicon substrate lens of the detector module. In order to obtain an image, the sample has to be moved through the terahertz focal spot and for every pixel of the future image a measurement is performed. The temporal tuning between the laser pulses on the emitter and the detector is done in two steps. First, the fiber cable on the emitter side is extended by a patch cable corresponding to the optical length of the terahertz beam path. If so, the terahertz pulse hits the detector right at the moment it is gated by the detector laser pulse. By moving the emitter antenna, in a second step, the incoming terahertz pulse can be temporally shifted on the detector antenna with respect to the gating laser pulse. Thus, both the overlap can be adjusted for a single point measurement and the complete terahertz waveform can be sampled for terahertz time domain spectroscopy. The imaging system performs single point measurements. In other words, it records the amplitude of the terahertz field at a fixed time delay. In our video, the sample is a Bluetooth adapter in its packing. The measured amplitude is compared to a reference and then translated into a color. Consequently, two different mechanisms give rise to a contrast. First, the T-rays are both absorbed and reflected and the measured amplitude is reduced by different materials in the beam path. Second, the materials introduce a change in optical path length due to their refractive index. The terahertz pulse is moved with respect to the fixed detector gating pulse, which leads to additional variation of the signal's amplitude. The green and yellow parts of the image correspond to the package made of paper and plastic, which both are transparent for the terahertz light. The reference was taken at such a point and so the time delay is set to this optical thickness. In this picture, green color refers to high transmitted amplitude. The image reveals hidden objects inside the package. Obviously, there is a driver CD which is, due to the high reflectivity of its metal coating, not transparent for the terahertz radiation. Additionally, a booklet and the CD cover, which form a relatively thick stack of paper that leads to a temporal shift, are included and can be seen too. The blue color results from negative amplitudes. Further note that the hole in the center of the CD and the Bluetooth adapter itself can be seen too. With the help of our photoconductive antennas, the imaging setup showed us what's hidden inside this packing. 
The whole setup can easily be modified for different measurement tasks. For example, recording complete terahertz waveforms is possible and allows for terahertz time domain spectroscopy. A different, more compact terahertz beam guidance is possible with the help of BATOP's collimating or focusing substrate lenses. For more information on BATOP products, please visit our website. Thank you for your attention.